Hey guys, Ponyline here. As most of you may know, a couple of YouTubers and streamers, as well as some other personalities within the Battlefield community, were flown out to San Francisco within the last few days. At that event, we were testing out some of the final code that would be launched with the game. And so, here's just a video updating on pretty much the direction that my channel will be going and some of the things that there were a lot of questions on. So, as in the beta, a lot of people noticed that you couldn't blow up friendly explosives. And so, one of the biggest things that we wanted to find out when we ended up going out to this event, Stun Gravy Night at least, was whether you, you know, they changed that. Because we talked to Thaddeus, uh, who is the lead multiplayer designer for Visceral on Battlefield Hardline. And he had told us the last few trips that they were going to have it to where you could blow up friendly explosives. That was just an issue. They hadn't put it in yet. But unfortunately, when we went out and tested the final code, it didn't work. So what that means for people like Stun Gravy and I is that there wasn't any exponential launches. But being a little bit creative, we found a way around that. Now, this wasn't possible in the previous Battlefronts, but check this out. What you can do is do a single launch, have the person then do a chain reaction launch. So once you have the vehicle in the air, as long as there's C4 attached to the bottom, you can do another launch. So in other words, this is going to require that much more timing, more precision. Because let me show you, here's just a second example. What we are doing right now is I would launch the first set, and then Stun would launch the second set once we're up to a certain point. And as you can see, you get the boost. So you're getting a launch on top of a launch. You can imagine how cool this can look if you really get it right. You can just do a cool chain reaction launch over and over and over to a certain point. I don't know if there's actually even a limit to it. Uh, I'm sure we are going to test this out. So things like this are what we're excited about. Um, just like in Battlefield 4, we had to find new ways to do rendezvous, new ways to launch vehicles. Um, now let me show you the importance of how you have to set these explosives up because the first launch has to be stable. And here's an example of why that is the case. If you launch a vehicle and it is not stable, it's not a flat, um, a flat vertical launch, look what happens. On the second set, whatever direction that vehicle is facing, it's going to get launched towards. So obviously stun went down and died. Um, so that's the first way that we found to get around this no uh, blowing up friendly explosives. The second part uh, <laughs> is doing just a compound explosion. Um, what that means is that you both have to detonate at the same time or however many people you're setting this up with have to blow it up at the same time. That requires a lot of timing. Um, I'm sure people on TeamSpeak or on other platforms are going to have to work on getting their timing just right. Um, now here's an example of what happens if you don't do it right. You launch the vehicle, but you kill yourself. Now you're wondering how the hell that happened. In the previous ones, for the most part, people stayed alive in the vehicle. Um, if you didn't notice, I put the C4 in the ground, and therefore I had no shield to protect me when I blew up the explosive, so it killed me. So, on this one, I had the C4 directly attached under the vehicle, and I was going to blow it up. Stun had his C4 on the ground, I had mine under the vehicle. Um, the direct result of this is that when we time it just right, it does do a compound explosion. All the explosions count as one big massive explosion when it happens. Therefore, getting the same distance is what you would get if you had 64 in the ground. So that's the two ways that we found so far to get around this. So what that means, guys, is I hope that you guys are excited as I am to go forward with stunts and launches and Battlefield Hardline. My YouTube is going to ramp right back up. Um, so look forward to a lot of new videos guys because they're definitely going to be coming We have some very good creative ideas on how to implement these into the game um, And hopefully at some point in the future they do decide to go ahead and make it so friendly explosives can blow up other friendly explosives But until then we do have a workaround so hope you guys are excited as I am until then have a good one guys